Hello and welcome to today's video. My name is Anakin and I design knitting patterns. I teach workshops online and in person and I sell yarn through my website yarnaddict.co.uk. So welcome to today's video. I thought I would try and film a little bit of a weekend vlog. This weekend is a long weekend. So we have Monday as a bank holiday here in the UK. Always the first Monday in May is the May Day bank holiday. In Norway we used to just get the first of May off and it's the first of May um, well, on the Saturday or Sunday, we wouldn't get another day off. Uh, but here in the UK, it's always the first Monday in May, whatever that day that is. This year, that happens to be the first of May, but sometimes it's a different date. Um, and then we're actually taking Tuesday off to celebrate uh, someone's birthday, not mine. Um, so we got a four-day weekend. Um, I am planning to do a little bit of work this weekend because the last two weeks I've not worked two weeks three weeks I've not worked like a full week because last weekend last week was last four weeks maybe um April has not been a lot of work because of wonderful workshops trip to London Easter all that kind of stuff so I feel like I haven't done a lot of work and it's not that long to go on holiday so I feel like I need to catch up on a few things before we go away so I thought I would just try and film a little bit this weekend I don't know how much I'll end up filming um, I'm going to do some work, so I'm going to do some gardening on one of the days, then I'll do a bit of work and then we'll find some time out, some out and about in Cornwall. Cornwall gets very busy, um, it's a very big tourist destination, so it does get quite busy on the bank holiday weekend <laughs> in the summer. Although it's not been that warm yet and at the moment it looks like it could rain. It's dry at the moment, but it looks like it could rain at any time. So let's start with, I'm going to actually pack some orders, that's why I've come into my office, Simon is out for an hour, a couple of hours, so I thought I would pack up some orders to take them to the post office later, because these orders all came in Thursday afternoon, Thursday evening, yesterday, this morning, and because I'm taking Tuesday off, I would prefer not to have to go to the post office on Tuesday, Monday's a bank holiday, so I feel like even if I wait till Tuesday, it's a long time to wait, so I thought if I can get them dispatched today, um, even if they probably won't go anywhere, <laughs> they will take longer because of the bank holiday. At least they're out of my house and I can send a dispatch email. But before I do that, I'm just going to show you new arrivals. If you watched my last podcast episode, now there's going to be a bit of rustling, so apologies. If you watched my last podcast episode, you will see that I showed off this pack of mini skeins that I got from Pixie Yarns and this skein which is also Pixie Yarns which I got last year at Stitch Fest and I'll talk about how I was planning to do something with these together possibly. Well I really like this set of mini skeins and they also did them in a, um, hang on I'm just going to open this quickly, they also did this set of skinny mini skeins in a speckled and as I started thinking about combining it with this yarn I was thinking maybe I'll do something more than maybe I can do a garment. So I um, ordered this last weekend and it came yesterday and I couldn't remember whether I'd gone for the regular soft base, same as this one, or whether I'd gone for the sparkle and I actually went for the sparkle. I'm kind of wondering whether the sparkle was a good idea and I should have gone for the regular one, but I went for the sparkle. So this is Pixie Yarn Spring Equinox 2023, 520 gram sparkle, total 400 meters, 75% nylon, 20% Still with Selena, 5%. No, hang on. 75% Marina, 20% nylon, 5% silver Selena. So isn't that pretty? So I really like all those colours. And then I also got this one. So this is sock fingering weight. It is the same. Yes, it's the same as that. So it's uh 75% superwash merino, 25% nylon. 425 meters per 100 grams. So it's slightly thinner than these two, I think. Oh no, it's the same as these. These are all the same base. This is a slightly different base and it has 25 meters less per 100 grams. But I don't think that makes a lot of difference. But I really like those that color as well. So these two would go really nice together. I'm thinking maybe I will use all of these in a project. That gives me 400 grams. So I think that would be enough for a garment for me. I think. Um, I did a cardigan three years ago, something like that, in 300 grams of um, thin fingering weight, four ply, sock weight yarn. And that was fine. It's a little bit cropped. 
but I think this would be okay if I do like a lacy pattern on slightly bigger needles or something. I don't know. So I'm thinking that's my plan is to use these together in the project. They are gorgeous. I really like them. Um, and then another thing also, right, because I didn't buy anything at Wonderwall, so I treated myself to a couple of things online instead. The reason I didn't buy anything at Wonderwall was because I didn't see anything I desperately wanted and I also didn't really have time to look around properly. Uh, when the show was open uh, I looked around before it started on the Sunday my last podcast episode has looked like a wonderful vlog so if you haven't watched that go and watch it so this is uh, the corner of craft and she does beautiful beaded stitch markers I have one of her berry stitch markers so she does these quite large berries the one I got is a clam berry which is a berry that grows in the north of Norway and I got these I actually went on the looking for the um berries but she didn't have any of those well they were sold out but i got these i love that pink sheep i was just going to get the pink sheep and then i decided to get a little monkey with the flower in his on his head that's quite cute but i do love that pink sheep the berry i love but because it's 3d is that what they call it i mean it's not flat like these it's round or like berry shaped so it is quite heavy and i put it on a project the other day and i thought no that's too heavy and took it off again so i like these because they're flat and i do have a few of these kind of beaded stitch markers now and i really like to use them as progress markers so i will place them in my knitting where i start knitting from that day or i quite often use to mark where i start knitting from when i film so the next time i film i know where i got to um i think corner of craft i think she's called hannah uh she also includes a burden blend tea bag i'm not a great tea drinker but um this is strawberry lemonade and that probably is something that i would drink it's a fruity infusion so i guess it's not like a proper tea uh but i don't like normal regular tea with milk um or without milk but i would drink like a fruity tea so i will probably try that um it's better for me than like a regular tea at least so that's what's arrived since last time i um filmed and now i'm going to pack up some orders the nipro accessories um hang on let me just move these because these these, these are they're poetry hooks they're about to fall out so the nipro accessories that i got for wonderful which are all in here which i showed off in the last podcast they're i've sold a few of those i think all the orders apart from one that i've had since thursday when i sent out my post wonderful newsletter i think all of them have had have been from that apart from one i think i've had one yarn order and the rest have been from there so i've just printed those off and now i'm going to start packing them and go to the post office So Saturday has gone very quickly. It is now about three o'clock in the afternoon. Um, I haven't really done much today. Um, I packed some parcels this morning and then we popped into town and dropped them off at the post office and did a few other errands. Came back, had lunch, watched a bit of telling, did a bit of knitting, walked the dog. Our dog Alfie is a bit poorly today. He's got a bit of an upset tummy. He's rumbling all the time. He's off his food. He doesn't even want treats. 
um, when we were having lunch, she jumped on Simon's lap and Simon tried to give him like a little bit of crumb from his slice of bread and he didn't want that, which normally he'll, he'll eat. Um, and then he came into my room. I was doing a bit of tidying up here in here. I've got a new um, bedside table, my daughter's bedside table, which she didn't want, so I put that in my office. And I've done a bit of tidying up. I've sorted out a load of samples that I want to try and get rid of, try and sell. Um, so I've just been tidying up and doing bits and pieces in my office. And he came in here, which he, I mean, he sometimes comes in here and has a look around and leaves again because it's always a bit messy and things in here. Um, but he, when I was tidying up all my samples that were in here, I emptied a big drawer that was full of samples and sorted out the ones that I really need to get rid of. And one shawl, one lay shawl had like been got left on the floor and he was lying on top of it. He likes to cuddle under blankets and things. So I grabbed another uh, sample that I'm keeping and just put on top of him just because I know he likes being covered by a blanket and things. And he was lying there for, for, for a while and then suddenly I realised that he was trying to be sick um, behind me. So I quickly whisked him out of here and downstairs and he's now in the kitchen. Um, and I left the door open to the back garden so you can go in and out. Uh, Simon's outside doing some gardening. Um, it's sunny at the moment. I have done some admin. I've submitted my tax return. And um, I might just edit a video before I go back downstairs. And if it's still sunny, I might come sit in the garden for a bit and do some knitting. Um, Simon's cutting the grass and then he said he would get our garden chairs and put them out. So I'm hoping I might be able to sit out in the garden. Um, most of what I was packing this morning in terms of parcels was, there was two yarn orders, but um, I've sold all the rose gold scissors I had. I have at the moment one of these um, needle gauges, that's what they're called, left. One set of the Chakra silver plated stitch markers. Um, one ring, which is the largest size, which is the ring that I need to use. Um, and I've still got some tape measures left. Got some of those left. I got some of those left. So I think I'm going to... Oh, and I got some of these repair hooks left. Which reminds me, I must film a little reel or something, showing people what to do with those. Um, so I think I'm going to order some more of the rose gold scissors. They also do some rainbow ones uh, in the Mindful collections. I might order some of those. I don't know because I'm going on holiday soon. I don't know where to order them before I go or not. But I thought before I do this video editing, I would show you where I'm up to with my knitting. So I started the fifth ball of uh, knitting for Olive. I had lost the final ball. <laughs> I thought it must be in here somewhere. So as I was tidying up earlier, I found it. So I'm very pleased with that. So I'm putting it in the bag. I've moved my knitting into this bag, which um, I got recently from Botanical Yarns. It is, I think it's their Unravel special exclusive. Uh, but I really like the colours and it's quite big. It's perfect for like a garment. So it's probably too big for most of my projects, but for garments, especially garments that are on one, it's perfect. Inside, all the way around the side, it has these kind of pockets, um, which... I don't really use. Um, I do have a tape measure in here and my row counter, so I'll pop them into one. And I also have a very, very messy pattern. So my pattern consists of that and that. That is all my pattern consists of so far. So um, this week or next week, I'm going to have to try and write up the pattern, at least in the size I've knitted. But I can't remember where I was at the last podcast. Oh, yes, I do. Um, so I put a marker where I was at the last podcast, which is here. So that is where the front started because it was knitting around from the underarm uh, to the underarms. Then I've knitted the whole of the back and put that on hold. And now I'm doing the front. And I think I have about 10 rows to do before I can start shaping for the front neck. And I find that once I start shaping for the front neck, it goes very quickly. And I think the front neck sh um, from the front neck shaping up is about 20 rose i think so i hoping i will finish the um front today this evening so i really probably should work out the sleeves because the sleeves i do need to do a bit of maths and everything now i'm going to edit a video i filmed two videos last week that i haven't edited yet so i'm going to try and edit the shortest one now before i go downstairs and listen 
We've come for a day out today at Sulcrum House near Plymouth. Uh, you can probably hear the road noise uh, in the background. We are only a few minutes from the A38 through Plymouth and one of the main roads into Plymouth from the A38. So it is quite noisy here. You can hear a lot of road noise, but the park itself is absolutely beautiful, really popular with families. There's a big room in the garden and the formal gardens, uh, which is fairly quiet. But the actual park itself is really busy. Um, loads of people come here and walk their dogs and exercise their kids. <laughs> one side of the front of my uh, knitting fur leaf sweater. It is um, Saturday, no, what day is it? Sunday evening. We've been out most of the day today. I'd actually hoped I would finish this last night, but I didn't. So now I'm going to, I finished the left front and I just want to try it on just to make sure that it's, um, I'm happy with the fit. So I have got the, all the stitches for the back on a stitch holder, one of these tubey things which are really really useful and I'm just going to move, I have these stoppers on so I'm just moving those right down to the edge, there we go, okay and then I'm going to take the front, so I finished one front and I got these clips I got recently from Beautiful Knitters, the coconuts. I'm going to use those, and, oh, I'll just drop a few on the floor, and then I'm going to clip it together here. I don't enjoy undoing a three needle cast off, which is how I'm going to join the join this bit, and I do not enjoy undoing a three needle cast off. So, um, to make sure I'm happy with the fit, I thought I would just clip it together first. And then I can try it on and then if I'm not happy with it, I can just go back and, and pick it and re-knit it. Once I've cast off, I really don't want to undo a three needle cast off. I've done minimal calculations for this sweater because I haven't written the pattern yet. And I haven't even worked out all the numbers for my size, which is a bit foolish, but um, there we go. So, clip that together like that. I'm not going to do the other side because obviously I haven't finished that side. I also haven't cut the yarn because I want to make sure I'm happy with it before I cut the yarn so it won't be like completely trying it on but it'll be a good second good second best 
kind of. So what I wanted to know was if that is good enough or if I need, yeah, I think that, I think I'm happy with that. It would be good to try on the other side as well. Um, so I might go downstairs and knit um, the right side and then come upstairs and try it on again. But other than that, I think I'm happy with the neck width. Um, and the other thing I want to check was the armhole depth, which is probably a little bit, there will be a little bit more here because they're probably about three round, three rows once I've cast off. I'm not sure whether I could have done with a slightly deeper armhole, but I think that's okay. Okay. I think once I've done that bit, I think it also may stretch a little bit when I block it. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to leave those on hold, I think, do this side, then I might try it on again and make sure I'm happy, and then I can join the shoulders and then start knitting the sleeves. So that is my Saturday evening, no, Saturday evening, Sunday evening plan. This is quite a common situation here in the afternoon and evenings. Um, I sit in my chair, Alfie jumps on my lap, doesn't mind me knitting, he doesn't like it if my yarn or the cables of my needles touch him. So if I'm knitting something big, I tend to just cover him with it, because he normally sleeps under a blanket anyway, and excuse my messy table over there. But yeah, with this is our current situation a lot of the time. He, when we first had him, we've had him for nearly five years now, I think. I think it's five years in May, um, in a couple of weeks. And when we first had him, he wouldn't get on your lap at all. Then he would get on occasionally, and now he gets on my lap a lot, like daily. Usually in the afternoon and evening. Um, but I've just sat down, <laughs> he's just jumped on my lap. He was a bit poorly yesterday, but he's better today. And as long as my yarn doesn't run across his fur, or the cable of my needle doesn't like tap on this fur, then he's happy. And he will tolerate my knitting. Okay, so I finished the other front, that, that one, that side, I think. And I actually did go ahead and join the shoulders using a three needle cast off, just so I could try it on properly. I still have the stitches for the front um, neck and the back neck on stitch holders. I also took my t shirt off so I could check the neck properly. And I think I'm happy with that. A few rounds of gut stitch, and I'll be fine. I don't know whether to do that straight away with the two. Do the sleeves first but what i wanted to check was i was a little bit worried about this armhole depth um i think once the once it's been blocked it might come out a little bit more i don't know um but i think that's okay so i think that'll be okay i think that's enough ease in the armhole yeah happy with that so what i need to do is measure I guess I'm to do that. Measure from here to my wrist so I know how long I need the sleeves to be. And then I can calculate the decreases and everything. Uh, because you need to know how many rounds you're decreasing over to, to calculate that decrease ratio. And then next week I can do that or maybe tomorrow I'll do that. But tonight I'm going to, I might do this neck edging first because that won't take me long. Then I can get these off. I've got one at the back as well. So I can get those off. Um, so I think I might do that first. And then pick up stitches for the sleeves. And then knit the sleeves. Um, obviously I'm not going to finish the sleeves tonight. I think I might pick up that. What's the time now? It's nearly 8 o'clock. So I'll probably pick up the stitches around here. Knit the edging for the neck. And then um, pick up. hopefully pick up stitches for one sleeve tonight. We'll see. So I'm quite happy with this lengthwise like the ease in the body it'll probably relax a little bit more once i block it but so far i'm very happy with it good afternoon it is monday monday afternoon about two o'clock just about two o'clock it's fine called in monday today so that means it's a day off i'm in my office so this morning i my alarm went off this morning for normal time because i forgot to switch it off so you went off at quarter to six, something like that. So I switched it off and actually have four alarms set. So I quickly switched them all off 
um, managed to get back to sleep but up about half past seven, eight o'clock I think, which is a line for me. I rarely stay in bed any longer than that. Um, had breakfast, did my Duolingo, did half an hour of Duolingo, which is, I'm learning Spanish on Duolingo, so Duolingo is a language learning app. Did half an hour of Spanish um, and then worked there for an hour, just over an hour and showered, got dressed, um, made up a vegetarian, vegan, vegetable curry type thing to go in the slow cooker. So that's cooking and that's, I divide that into portion containers so that I can just take it up and have it for lunch. Uh, during the week I just get it up and I get up in the morning, defrost it and I just pop it in the microwave. Um, means I can have lunch quickly without thinking about it too much and it's nice and healthy. And now I'm going to edit a video. I've just uh, started uploading one video to YouTube that I edited on Saturday, Friday or Saturday, I can't remember. And I'm going to edit another one. I would also, I also printed off some orders, so I'm going to pack those so I can take them to the post office tomorrow. We're actually taking tomorrow off as well because it's Sam's birthday. Um, but I need to pop the, drop those off at the post office ready tomorrow so I can do that because I think we're going into town for breakfast tomorrow. So I can, if I get them ready today, I can just drop them off at the post office tomorrow, so that'd be good. And then um, I've got some other work I need to do. I've kind of made a list of all the things I need to do this week. So I might start on that list. I may not. I don't know yet. We'll see. But I do have my knitting here, so I can knit while I edit. Um, I picked up the stitches for the sleeves last night, and I did the last three rounds. I also knitted the edging for the neckline. Doesn't look great at the moment, but once it's been blocked or pressed, it'll be fine. So I'll do this editing and then um, we'll see how long this takes. Editing doesn't take too long. It's the exporting it or saving it that takes a long time. That drives me mad. And then uploading it to YouTube. Um, I'm going to have to open this window again as well because it's quite hot and the sun's coming around here now. Uh, summer's combed the grass outside, so I shut it so I can record this bit. But yeah, it's just kind of like a working day Sunday today.
this is day four of our long weekend. Uh, we It's a normal working day today, but we took the day off to make it a four day weekend. So uh, to celebrate Simon's birthday. So we've been to um, out for breakfast in town, dropped some parcels off at the post office on the way. And then we went to Tall Point uh, to a place called Anthony House, which is a National Trust property. And it's not open very often. It's only open, I want to say like three days a week, maybe, and only in the summer months. So it's, and it's only, it doesn't open until like midday. So it's very limited opening hours. So we've been there. It's a very nice property, beautiful gardens. Um, as you'll see in the, as you saw in the video. So I've really enjoyed that. And it was beautiful weather, very warm and sunny today. We seem to find I've got some decent spring almost summer weather seem to have gone from like winter to summer in about a week and now we're home um we're going back out again for a meal this evening so i'm just doing a bit of knitting i am probably nearly to the elbows i think on these sleeves i haven't measured it but um going quite well i'm quite happy with it so i was kind of hoping i would finish the first sleeve today but i don't know because we're going out for a meal but not going to be a long evening out we're going out for an early dinner um so we'll probably be back again by about seven i guess i will get a fair amount of knitting done tonight so i'd like to finish this don't think i'll get this finished tonight but maybe tomorrow if i can finish this tomorrow i start sleeve number two that'd be good because i'd like to finish this the sleeves by the end of the week really but it's been quite a lovely long weekend the weather's been good we've done a bit of work done a bit of out and about lots of knitting so it's been a bit of a mixed weekend and the rest of the week's gonna be very busy um catching up on work so if you've enjoyed this video please give it a thumbs up and if you haven't subscribed yet please consider subscribing and leave me a comment and let me know what you did over the long weekend if you had a long weekend i guess if you were not in the uk maybe you didn't have a long weekend although i think spain has a long weekend as well um and norway did well i guess most places did because it was labor day yesterday so i guess most countries got that off um, i don't know tell me in the comments thank you for watching and i'll see you next time